What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we're showing how to teleport the player when it goes through the door into another part of the map. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is right click, create a new blueprint class, and let's create the actor. This is gonna be the door that we are going to go through. So of course, you can change it to be anything else. It doesn't need to be a door, but in this example, we're gonna be using a door. So let's say BP uh, teleport door. It doesn't really matter in the name. Uh, so let's open this up. And the cool thing is that because I have the started content uh, enabled, I installed, I do have some door uh, meshes. So if you don't have it, you can just go add, a feature content pack, content and for the started content. So what we're going to do here is just add a static mesh. This will be door, um, how is it called? The outer part of the door, let's see. Door frame, there we go, <laughs> door frame. Uh, door frame, and then we're gonna duplicate this and it's gonna be the door itself. And of course we're gonna change this to be the door itself. And I'm gonna move it so it's snapped inside. And of course, maybe we have to change this to be five so we can move it exactly inside. There we go. So now it is perfect. So now we have the door. Let's just go ahead and open the door itself. A bit open. We can just do like this, maybe. You decide if from, from the inside on the outside, you decide. But basically, what we are going to do in here is add a box and it's gonna be collision. It's gonna be our trigger. So when the player enters in this box, We'll basically do the teleportation and everything that we have to do. So what we're going to do is adjust a bit the size of this. We can also put it higher so it matches a bit better the placement. And we can just experiment with this. You can put it so it's you know you have to wait so much for the player to enter and so on. You can you know experiment. And so what we're going to do is go down and make sure that the collision preset is set to overlap all dynamic. And then we're gonna go into the events. And in the on component begin overlap, we are going to click on you know add uh, the event. So when something enters this trigger, we are going to do something. In this case, let's check that our player is you know the the the, the actor entering into the player. So we're gonna cast to the third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using. And if it's so, you know it will be it will mean that it is the uh, player. So what we're going to do in here is just to test it, we're going to say print. So now I can just drag in my door here, as you can see. Um, and of course, maybe, yeah, maybe it should be through the other. <laughs> Let's do it like this. I prefer to do like this. The other side, yeah, it's a bit nicer. Um, so now I can just go here, you can see when I pass, it prints hello on the screen, as you can see there in the top left corner. So now we can start doing things. So what we are going to do with this door is basically just indicate where we want to teleport. So let's create a variable and this will be B and TP pause. And this is going to be a vector because it's gonna be placed in the scene. So what we can do is to make it easy for us to specify where we want to teleport, what we can do is uh, basically make it instance editable. So it will be public with this I. So we can access it from outside the blueprint. And then also we're gonna make it that it will show a 3D widget. And you're gonna basically understand this uh, better when we actually you know, showcase this. Um, but actually I can just show you right now. And now if I select the blueprints, you can see now we have a gizmo. I could select this gizmo, now you can see it's uh, white, and I can move it. So now I could teleport my player to be, let's say, on here. So we'll teleport to be here, right? So you will see that it will just go. And we have a gizmo which we can move and it will just be more convenient. So now what we can do is just get our player and then use uh, set transform. Well, we can, I, I prefer to not set the whole transform. You set the location and rotation, um, but that's just preference. But honestly, we are not touching the rotation right now. Uh, we could do so in a second, but we are just gonna, actually, yeah, just by rotation and uh, location. So in this case, our TV bus will be this one, but of course, this is a vector, so it will not come uh, contain the rotation. So what I am going to do is convert this vector into whole transform, and I will just change the variable type, and we just update a second. There we go. Uh, of course, this doesn't work like that. Um, so now we can need to drag it, get it, right click, split it, and now we can just plug in the location and rotation and probably it did yeah it did put it back in here so let's select it 
go back here. So now basically whenever it is uh, looking, uh, you know, it will go through. So you can rotate it. So we'll start where you want and so on. In the case, I'm not gonna rotate it right now, but you can see that that will work. And you will see that with that, it should do the job. If I now go through the door, it will go ahead and teleport. Now it is being broken and why? The thing is that this position is in local space because it's basically inside this blueprint. So it's a relative location and our player is in a world rotation and location because it's outside this blueprint. So we have to convert this uh, location and rotation to be in the world space. So let's go ahead and do so. So to do this, we have to use a node. So what we're going to do is get the location and call this transform location. And this will convert the location from a relative position to a world position. And here we're just gonna pass the get actor transform and we can just plug it into the new location. So it's just a conversion basically. And I can just put this in order, so it's a bit neater. And for the rotation, we don't need to do so. Um, so now we can just press play. You can see I go through the door and now yes, we are in that exact position and it will work. And if I were to move my gizmo into another place, for example, the other box here, it would work still, as you can see, perfectly. And the last thing I'm going to mention is that if you type the, well, type not, check the teleport uh, checkbox here, basically physics will not be affected. So for example, you have hair or, you know, ragdoll, and when you basically teleport without this checked on, it will basically like move all the bones quickly, all the hair, all the physics, and will look a bit wonky. So you want to make it more, I guess, realistic, we could say, you just need to check that. So we'll like keep the physics how they are, okay? But in my case, I'm just gonna disactivate it because yes, I basically need it. So that's it, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so check them out. Join my Discord server, uh, check out the profiles on my Patreon and YouTube members. And now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye.